Hi friends. Good morning. Today we will see part 3 of exam questions. So let's start. In this question, the data is in JSON format. So to store JSON data, we can use DynamoDB. So answer for this question is C. Next question. Here organization host, multi-language website and below are the HTTP request. In this request, we can see different query strings like language equal to D, language equal to EN and language equal to ES. Hence, it is based on query strings parameters. Hence, correct answer is B. Next question. Here, this is new application. We have no projection of traffic. So, to optimize storage class automatically, we can use S3 intelligent tiering, so answer is C. Next question. In this question, there is consistent amount of uses increase in EC2 and Fargate and we made need to increase the size of instance so we can choose compute saving plan so correct answer is a next question here it is generating large data sets with millions of rows so for such large data sets we can use red shifts so answer for this question is a next question here Application need a data store for session data. So, ideal options to store session data is DynamoDB and Elastic Cache. So, option B and D are correct. Next question. Here, we need to avoid data loss. So, to avoid data loss, we can enable versioning in S3. So, option B is correct. Next question. Here, application need relational data store and ability to have four read replicas. So, we can use Amazon Aurora. So, option C is correct. Next Next question, here EBS volume should support 18,000 IOPS, so we can use 
EBS provision IOPS SST. So option A is correct. Next question. In this question, developers intend to keep logs for a month for troubleshooting purpose and subsequently purge the logs so we can enable life cycle rule on S3. So answer B is correct. So we will cover next questions in upcoming videos. Hope you like this video. If you like this video, comment, share and subscribe. Thank you. Bye bye. Have a nice day.